happening in the county. Lace up your running shoes and don your best Dia de los Muertos attire, folks. It is Bernalillo County's Sugar Skull Fun Run. It's happening this weekend at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. Joining us now with more is Carrie Moritomo, Cultural Services Director, along with Nan Masland, who is the Public Arts Coordinator, both with Bernalillo County. Look at that face. That is amazing. It is a masterpiece. Nan Maslin, you did the work here. Uh, tell us a little bit about what goes into doing a sugar skull face paint. Well, there are so many different ways to do it, Chad, but what I like to always say first is water-based face paint is the way to go. Really? When okay. you're at the Halloween store, there's always those grease paints. Yeah. They are so hard to work with. They're easily accessible, but it just never dries, and it always will smear. If you touch your face, it will yep. smear. Um, so it is worth investing in water-based face paints. Okay. Um, and the idea is to paint the face white, except mm -hmm. for the nose and the eyes. Okay. Um, and then go back in with a color or black, uh -huh. um, and do the eyes, the eye socket. Just follow the eyebrow, and then down underneath. You know, you can really sort of F feel, feel where, where that, where that is. is. Okay. Um, go around with the color. Um, follow through with some petals around the eye. Um, and then for the mouth, um, there's a lot of different ways you can yeah. do it. You could paint over the lips white and then do the lines of the teeth. Mm -hmm. You can also get more detailed. Um, it especially looks good on men if you if you do the, all the way around for like, so really? in the top of the okay. tooth. Um, if you're doing a guy, I'd love to do like a big old mustache. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so obviously this is coming up for the Sugar Skull Fun Run. Right. We are encouraging people to come with works Good luck trying to get this good, but um, tell us about the fun run, Carrie. So it's this Saturday, um, October 28th, at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. Uh, the first race goes off at 9.30, but we have um, people checking in starting at 8. We have vendors that are going to be there, artisans, a variety of crafters, um, and then also some food trucks, coffee okay. trucks, so everybody can get their Joe. Got to get that coffee. Um, we're going to have a stretching exercise for the 10 cares, um, and then shoot them off at uh, 9.30, and then we have a 5K also after, mm -hmm. um, and it's for recreational fun. So okay. come and get your fitness on and um, dress up, have fun, do some shopping. And, and I think that's an important element, too, because when I hear 10K, 5K, a lot of times, mm -hmm. because I'm not really competitive when it comes to running, because mm -hmm. I hate running, um, and I'm bad at it, but if I want to come out and just support it and be able to dress like this, you can do that, oh, and it's, yeah. it's perfectly acceptable. So this is for the people that just want to get out yeah. uh, and, and have a good yeah. time. I mean, we'll have the timer out there for people sure. to, you know, pay attention to, um, but it's not competitive in any way, shape, or form. It's really to get out and get your exercise for the day, have some fun, bring the kids. Mm -hmm. um, it's $40 right Right now, from now until uh, Saturday, you can register online at burnco.gov, run burnco, okay. or you can just walk up and register that day. We can do walk-up mm -hmm. registration. We've got a great well. t-shirt this year. People are going to really like it. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. So uh, again, if we go onto Burnco's website, we can register there. Yes. Um, Nan, I just I have to ask you before we get out, how long have you been doing this? I think I've been doing it for about uh, five years. With, five years. With Carrie here, this is our third year doing it for TV. Uh huh. Um, but you know, every year I learn something new, and uh, it's one of those things where you can always build on your skills. But you don't need to have a ton of skills to do work like this. Yeah, it just gets better and better every single <laughs> year. It's one of my favorite things. Looking forward to this segment. So again, burnco.gov if you want more information on the Sugar Skull Fun Run happening this Saturday. It starts at eight o'clock. The race starts at nine thirty. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. At the National Hispanic Cultural Center. If you guys want more information on this uh, and uh, you want to recap on what Nan said, tips and tricks to get it looking good, head over to foxnewmexico.com.